I think we have uh, some interesting comments um, about urbanization and the urban future of Hungary, of Austria, of Europe, and of course, global. At first, I have to say that um, in the history and in the political science, there is no um, what a city is. It can be done with uh, the rate of uh, inhabitants, of uh, other facts, but uh, totally clear what is a city. There is a long um, development of history, and um, in 1992, said in an official paper, the future will be urban. This is uh, more than 25 years ago, but uh, now we can see in 2000, they were right. Uh, I would like to show you uh, some facts. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope it... Yes, uh, I can be very short. Um, you see, I'm not a technician. I studied political science, I have to apologize. Um, our um, center is called Urban Forum, and it's uh, important for us uh, to say Egon Matzner, Department for Urban Research. Egon Matzner was a scientist, a professor, economist, and um, unfortunately he died um, 15 years ago, but he's well known in our minds. And a room, a room in Kursek in Ayask uh, is uh, called Egon Matzner Conference Room. Our form is Organization Registered Society. We are a member of the Austrian Association of Cities and Towns. This is very important for us. And also a member of the urban platform Danube region of the European Union. It's called PA10, Platform Area 10. It's settled in Vienna. Very short, our purposes. You can read. Ladies and gentlemen, thinking small structures is um, important for us. Also, the next sentence, please take this is before party politics. This is very important for us. Yes, we try to, to modernize administration. Very short, the offers, lectures, talks, penalty. I'm very grateful to be here. IASC is now an official partner of Urban Forum since this year. Ferenc de Logo of our website. Thank you. You are welcome. We, um, this year we founded a publishing edition and um, we publish books, newspaper four times a year. Urban research is our main topic, of course. So you can see urban agenda. And um, to think global, sometimes we have to act local, but we have to think global. Uh, maybe interesting facts and figures for Austria. 60 cent per, uh, 66 percent of Austrian people live in cities or in city regions. Um, uh, a lot of people in Austria think that there is only one city, Vienna, and the rest is rural, but that's not there. It's an error. Um, we have 88 municipalities with more than 10,000 inhabitants. In China, uh, one floor of a housing system. And here you can see the facts. Um, this is uh, interesting, I think. So the UN says that the estimated rate of urbanization in Austria will be in 2040, 75%. And then, of the European Union. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, please take a look at, uh, at this um, chart. Um, the annual percentage of the year residing in urban areas since 1950 the rate of urbanization in 1950 was about and uh, three times, uh, three years ago in 2015, it was uh, 54%. So um, I think 2008, there was the break even point. In 
people, more people live in urban areas than in rural. And you can see the of the United Nations. Uh, they every year have an annual report about urbanization. And uh, this is the prediction to the next uh, year. Uh, in uh, 2050, so um, the United Nations, uh, there will be the global urban at uh, 66%. Um, mega city, um, a definition for cities with more than 10, uh, 10 million people, uh, sorry. In 1970, we had, uh, well, it was in 1970, we had um, only three worldwide. 2030, it will be 41. But in Europe, we have only London and Paris. So you can see that most of them, they are in Asia. Some urban trends and movements. The UN forecasts 5 billion people to live in cities by uh, 2030. And um, there's very often a big mistake um, in thinking Europe is not the most urbanized continent. I will tell you, ladies and gentlemen, number one is, what do you think? Which continent? North America is number one. Uh, rate 81% in urbanization. Number two? America? percent. Number uh, three, Europe. Number four, Australia and Oceanic. Number uh, five, uh, at this time, only 46 percent urbanization, but it's uh, growing up um, very fast. And at last, uh, Africa, 40 percent urbanization rate. Um, some uh, facts I think you cannot know, so I will tell you and uh, do not a quiz. Um, the, uh, global urbanization rate of countries, Burundi, 11.8% urbanization. And the less rate in uh, European Union, Slovenia, 49%. And the highest in the European Union, so let's make a quiz, highest uh, urbanization rate of uh, European Union countries, not Austria, Belgium, 7.8% um, urbanization rate. <clears throat> there are 11 countries, 90%. Five of them are Asian, three of them are South America, another three from Europe. Yes, uh, 2007, I mentioned, was the break even. Ten biggest cities, seven are in Asia. Europe, Africa, Australia, not even in the statistics. Yes, I told, only two mega cities in Europe, London and Paris. The future is urban. So, let me tell some facts. In 1950, there was the rate of urbanization about uh, 30%, 29.6. The UN says that in 2030, it's very near, there will be a rate of 60%. So then it's from 1950 to 2030, it's doubled in a very small time in the history of the world. Um, in 1950, on our planet, there lived 2.5 billion people. In 2015, three years ago, it was 7.3 billion people.
nine of ten people global which live in rural areas are settled down in Asia and in Africa. To 2050, the urban population, so the United Nations, will grow up to 2.5 billion people. So they were right when they said the future is urban. In 2014, ladies and gentlemen, in 28 megacities, so with more than 10 million inhabitants, there lived 453 million inhabitants totally. So in 28 megacities, there lived four years ago 453 million people. In the European Union, there live 60% of citizens in cities with more than 50,000 inhabitants. Let me come to the end, and I hope, I, because uh, I think you are looking forward to the break. Um, when we all know that the future will be urban, then we have uh, to prepare the conditions, because um, it's not an easy way uh, to say the future will be urban. So we had a very interesting um, report from um, Professor Vereshmati, and uh, all these things are um, important topics for an um, urban future of the world. So I think conferences, these inputs, these reports, all the remarks and the comments are necessary to um, do the best because um, we have to live in these cities. Um, this year, Urban Forum published a book. It's called um, City of the Future, City for Humans, City for People. Because who should live in the cities of the future? Only robots, only digitalization, only smart electronics. No, I think humans must be there and humans must live in the city of the future. So we have uh, to try to do all for a um, human future of the cities. And these conferences are very important for this way. Um, Ferenc, thank you for the invitation. We are very grateful. Uh, we are a very small institute. Um, and um, we are deeply impressed about your um, powerful working and um, this interesting and international conference. Thank you for the invitation. Let us uh, keep in touch. And if you have questions, feel free. Thank you.